Hey you guys, it's your boy Davion. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video response from a clip from the Lance Skurf show. He's a radio host, I believe, and a friend of mine sent me a video link to a discussion he was having about a statement that RuPaul made regarding homosexuality and relationship to heterosexuality. So if you guys are interested in this video, then stay tuned. As some of you guys may know, sometimes my subscribers and friends of mine send me things that they want me to speak about on my channel, and so I oblige them. I was sent a clip from the Lance Curve show based upon the 20 minute clip that I listened to in his response to RuPaul. He seems like a well informed, well balanced heterosexual man. I appreciate um, his willingness to give credit where it's due and to speak truth regardless of how that truth may interfere with some agendas that are out there in the world to suppress homosexuality and to suppress the contribution that homosexuals have made to society when it comes to art, when it comes to politics, when it comes to sociology, all of those areas. So I really appreciate that about him. And I'm going to address some of the things that he mentioned in his response to RuPaul. Lance was reading a statement that RuPaul made in relationship to heterosexuals probably in particular to heterosexual women, where RuPaul was simply stating that homosexuals are not here for the entertainment and for the beauty upkeep of heterosexual men and women. Because a lot of times, especially heterosexual women have a tendency to fetishize gay men and to think of them as accessories or to think of them as the clutch or the pooch and kind of entertain homosexuals on the strength of helping them with their hair and their makeup and kikiing with them and the gossip and doing all the girly things. Straight women will adopt gay culture and gay slang and gay lingo and will utilize gay men for their talents and don't acknowledge gay people as real individuals who have a real place, point, and purpose in the world and who should be taken seriously. Lance stated that he feels like when is the black LGBT movement going to stand up and speak and be proactive in terms of empowering their community and empowering black people? First, I want to say that there are many same gender loving individuals of the black community who contribute to politics, who speak out on black issues. Dr. Cleo Monago is one, a very powerful and prolific black man who's extremely vocal about black issues about the black community about black beauty about black consciousness and anybody who follows dr cleo radio show follows him on television on tv one or follows his facebook and social media knows that he is first and foremost concerned with being black and then same gender loving the three women who founded the black lives matter movement also identify as queer and lesbian themselves so the black lives matter movement itself stands upon homosexual men and women who also represent for being melanated and being brown and being black in America as well. And the list can go on and on and on and on all the way back to Dr. King and the same gender loving individual who was in charge of the marketing and the campaigning behind Dr. King's movement was also a homosexual man or a same gender loving man. Black queer men and women have always contributed and represented when it came to black issues as well. And I find this question kind of strange in terms of when black men and women say, well, where is the LGBT movement in black issues when black heterosexuals know that for one, they have not created a space for gay people to even be looked at as legitimate human beings. There's not a space within religion for gays and there hasn't been much space in this patriarchal hyper-masculine ass culture that has developed out of the black community for homosexuals to be recognized as people who are even being checked for to any degree. So the black heterosexual community hasn't even concerned itself with any aspect of homosexuality. A lot of black gays are not really so much interested in being on the forefront and being recognized as black empowerment activists because a lot of because a lot of the hate and intolerance and judgment that gay people have faced have not been from white people. It has been from black people has been from black people. So finally, when there's a space for gay people to be accepted within the LGBT community, the same gender loving community, and there's a movement that's being grown 
of course black LGBT individuals are going to identify with that because there's a form and a degree of freedom and finally a, a, a space where I can be safe, a space where I can be affirmed and validated that's being created for me. That doesn't exist in the black community. The black community is starting to attempt to be a tad bit progressive in terms of sexuality and what to do about the spectrum of sexuality that actually exists. Bisexuals, transgenderism, lesbianism, homosexuality, etc. We're now just starting to even have the dialogue. But that's still a very slow process in the making. Homophobia hasn't been cleared up in the least, especially amongst black people. There are many nuances that we're still having to resolve, still having to combat in order to really get to a real medium within this conversation about what it means to be gay within the black community itself. A lot of black same gender loving individuals are just searching for some, some place they can exhale for one. Just give me oxygen for fucking one. And if you're gonna give me oxygen as a gay man, I'm gonna take that space and run with that space that validates me because that's something that I've been searching for and needing all of my life that I may have never gotten from Christianity, that I may have never gotten from Islam, that I may have never gotten from my family, from my parents, from from my peers growing up or from, or from society growing up. So this is now a new space and homosexuals are running with that and rightfully so, rightfully so because the good goddamn truth is if black heterosexuals were concerned about utilizing black LGBT persons as soldiers for the black movement, for the black empowerment movement, black people would have created a space initially for homosexuals to exist within. Where do you think black, gay, and lesbians are when shit is going down in the community? Because when Ferguson happened, when the Mike Browns, when the Sandra Blands, when the Trayvon Martins, everybody who was black for the most part was outraged with that. And I saw everybody in those protests, everybody in those marches, everybody in those organizations, Everybody, gay, straight, man, woman. When something happens within the black community, speaking from the gay black perspective, those are things we naturally have to react to as well because this is our pigment too. Whether we gay or not, this is us as well. So we stand behind this first and foremost as well. So I really don't understand the question of where are black homosexuals when it comes to black issues. We're there with everybody else. We're filling up the stadiums. We are filling up the seats at the seminars and the workshops. We are listening to pro-black folk. We are filling in the churches. We are everywhere that black people are because we are black as well. So we can't assume that gay people are not active, are not proactive, or are not advocating for their black skin, for their black beauty, for their black consciousness, for their black community, for their heritage just because you as a heterosexual can't see who is gay and then assumes that LGBT persons aren't involved in these issues just because the LGBT movement is so strong, there seems like a neglect, but there isn't a neglect. Gay people are just getting their foundation straight first as a movement, but we've always been been an integral part of politics. We've always been an integral part of black empowerment in this country in art and media and beauty and all of these things. As Lance himself said, we have been always a contributing factor. So this should no longer even be a question of where are LGBT persons. The question need to be for heterosexuals is, when are you guys going to acknowledge y'all's privilege and have neglected and abandoned black and brown LGBT same gender loving individuals. Y'all have abandoned us. Y'all left us out of every space y'all existed in, regardless of how much we contributed, regardless of how we were still a part of the strategy, we were still a part of the organization, we were still a part of the movement, we were still going down and shedding the same blood over the same issues with y'all because we ourselves are black as well, but we have never been recognized, we are not in y'all history books, y'all do not hold us up and revere us for our contributions, and then y'all expect same gender loving black individuals to be so concerned about a community that has 
openly victimized them, that has openly neglected and abandoned them, and still to this day have so much rhetoric to spew about homosexuality, have so much rhetoric to spew about brown and melanated people who practice same-sex sex and same-sex love. Y'all have still so much to say. So the question is not for same gender loving persons who are brown. The question is for heterosexual brown people. Why are you guys mad that it looks like black LGBT persons are not interested in being black before they are gay when y'all have conditioned homosexuals to develop such a defense mechanism against their own kind because y'all have been so hateful in y'all dogma, so hateful in y'all doctrine, so hateful in y'all music, so, so, so hateful in y'all culture toward same gender loving people. The question is for y'all, not really for us. Not to mention that when black gays do stand up and speak about black issues, the pro-black activists follow right behind and want to shade and discredit that LGBT persons. And this goes back to what I'm saying about how the black community hasn't even created a space for LGBT persons, but yet want LGBT funding, yet want the LGBT cosign, yet want the LGBT movement to share their platform, but yet heterosexuals are the ones responsible for building this cage and this bondage and this distortion and damage that is perpetuating itself through the LGBT movement, especially the black gay LGBT movement. There was also a reference to the gay agenda, but we all know there is no gay agenda and Hollywood is not pushing anything. When you think about Hollywood, you have to think of art. It's the foundation in which all of our artistic expressions exist. And as we know, art is androgynous. Art is radical, it's inclusive, art has no boundaries. So you're gonna see everything portrayed in Hollywood from violence to blackness to whiteness to love to animation, to sci-fi, every story, every person is going to be told and represented when it comes to Hollywood today. So there's not this campaign or this agenda within Hollywood to perpetuate homosexuality. It's just that now Hollywood don't give a fuck about putting gay people on the strings and heterosexuals are still uncomfortable by that. And, and instead of heterosexuals pretending to be progressive when they make acid statements like Hollywood is pushing a agenda, a gay agenda are pushing homosexuality. What you're really saying to us homosexuals is that you're still not comfortable seeing us visibly because women are being represented in Hollywood. Men are being represented in Hollywood. Black movies and black actors and black art and black music is being represented within Hollywood. But now that there's a few gay people on TV and, and there's some gay shows and some gay stars and it's okay to use the word gay, it's okay to be openly gay, now there's an agenda. But there wasn't a agenda when everybody else got their ass in Hollywood. It wasn't a agenda when everybody else got a chance to sit at the casting couch, no matter what your skin color was, no matter what your message was, no matter what your talent was, no matter what it is you wanted to bring to the table. There was never a agenda then, but when the gay person makes it to the casting couch, when the gay person person gets to be a director when there wants to be a gay movie or a gay show produced now Hollywood is pushing a agenda I don't understand this hypocrisy I don't understand this biasness I I don't get it I don't I thoroughly genuinely do not understand it a gay agenda really nobody else in Hollywood apparently has a fucking agenda even though everybody else gets to be in Hollywood but anytime a gay person shows up all of a sudden oh there's the agenda oh there's somebody pushing something I'm just fucking visible and you still just can't stand it. So just admit it. That's what we want from heterosexuals. This a omission of truth. You still just can't stand it. You're still just not comfortable. And if that's the case, you can reasonably say that. We can continue to have these conversations and figure out what we need to do so that everybody can get comfortable seeing everybody and creating spaces for everybody to exist so that we don't get the phenomenon of the DL, so that we don't produce liars and hypocrites in the world because everybody gets to stand and blend within their truth. Lance quoted Malika Z saying that if it's not a conversation of black empowerment, then it's not a conversation that black people need to be having at all. Simply just not true. We cannot as a humanity get into the business of trying to trivialize other realities that require just as much attention. At the end of the day, oppression is oppression. At the end of the day, suffering is suffering. Injustice is fucking injustice. And we are in a position to where we can manhandle and focus on, on multiple issues at one time. 
Everything does not have to revolve around my black skin. Every issue that's dealt with in the world does not have to come after my black issue is resolved. We just need to get into the business of continuing to be proactive about our healing, but also take care of our neighbor. There's no need to try to prioritize one issue or one trauma or one paradigm over the other because it's how we've gotten into this mess to fucking begin with. If you're gay and you just want to advocate for your community, advocate for your community. If you're black and you want to advocate for your community, advocate for your community. If you are a woman and you want to advocate for women empowerment, advocate for women empowerment. If you are a black, gay, or lesbian individual and you want to represent for your sexuality and you want to represent for your gender and you want to represent for your race, do so. However it is we're all getting this done, let's get it done. All, it's going to take all of these players representing all these areas, all these unresolved areas anyway, just to bring this thing to a head, just to bring this healing all the way full circle. We cannot spend time just ratifying one issue, but we do need to address the seriousness of all these issues, continue to be outspoken, continue to be proactive, continue to do what we need to do in order to have liberty, to have the rights and to have the resources that we are entitled to as persons, as black people, as men, as women, as homosexuals, as whomever. Fight, fight fiercely, and keep the power. So I hope that that clears up some of Lance's questions to black LGBT persons. And I just hope that the black community can create a space because it would be dope for us to collaborate these platforms and to become one and to be a unit because there is power in numbers. And the more that we create a bridge for one another, rather than isolating each other on islands, the more effective we can be in our missions, in our agendas, because we all have them apparently. Black people got an agenda, white folk got an agenda, homosexuals got an agenda, women got an agenda, men got an agenda, everybody is agenda based. And there's nothing wrong with having an agenda if the agenda strives for the protection of persons and people and resources and our earth. If that's the case, agenda away. I don't have any issue with agendas. So you guys can let me know what you guys think. I'll leave the link to Lance's show. He seems to be a very educated man. I really appreciate him crediting the LGBT community. And I also appreciate what seems to be a sincerity for asking these questions because he wasn't being judgmental. He was just simply trying to understand from his heterosexual privilege, what does this all mean and look like for LGBT persons and where is their involvement in terms of what's happening now within our culture between white and black race dynamics. So I really just appreciate his understanding and his love and, and his tolerance and inclusiveness of all people. And I hope that this answers his question. I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm out.